Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at some relatable TikToks which everyone can relate to. If you relate to a TikTok in this video, you have to leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado, we're going to have a look at some relatable TikToks. Here, baby, try this candy. Right, let me see. Here, okay. Have some. Okay. It's really good. God damn! What? So spicy! Okay, so I feel like I can definitely relate to this TikTok. For some reason, I cannot eat spicy food. My mum and my dad can eat spicy food, but when it comes to me, I just can't stand it. Literally, curry you would get out of a Chinese or like spicy crisps. I can't eat them, they're way too spicy. I'm pretty sure it's because my mum didn't eat any spicy things when she was pregnant with me. But honestly, like, I wish I could eat spicy stuff because I'd love to eat it. It just sucks that I can. Hey, mum, can I borrow 20 pounds? No. Do you think that money grows on trees? What's money? made of paper and what is paper made from oh, no, well i mean to be fair he has got a point like for some reason parents always seem to say where do you think the money comes from do you think money grows in trees in a way what he said is correct it does come from trees because money is technically paper well i mean it used to be paper i'm pretty sure like most money now is plastic it always annoys me when parents use the same comebacks and they're always like oh i used to do what you done when i was a kid and it's like we don't care just hurry up and give me money but honestly i might start to use that one because that's smart the difference between best friends and regular friends if you fall as your friend i will help you up and then i might you know giggle or something but as your best friend if you fall i am going to be crying laughing True. And once I finish laughing, then I'll help you get up. Friends ask you to come over. Best friends just... Hey, yo, I know you're in there. Best friends can get away with a lot more than regular friends can. For instance, if I'm eating something and, you know, I'm about to finish it and it's like the last bite and my best friend goes and it falls out my hand, I'm gonna laugh. But now if my friend does that, oh, I might just kill you. With friends, you have to keep in contact with them. You know, you have to talk to them pretty consistently to keep the friendship going. With your best friend, y'all can go like three months with no conversation and then start talking again and it's like you never stop talking. And lastly, the way I work, I'm more mean to my best friend than anyone else because my meanness is how I show my love. So so when I call my best friend and say, hey yo, what up, stupid? He knows to respond. Hey yo, what up, dummy? Because that's just how we talk. I've seen a lot of TikToks which are meant to be relatable and I haven't really related to them that much. But honestly, I relate to this TikTok so much. Everyone always has a couple of friends. Like, I feel like in a friendship group, there's always going to be a couple of people who are more close than the others. But what he said in that video was 100% true. I am so horrible to my best friends. But like, we love each other, so it's fine. We get along because we bully each other. Like, it's so weird. And that thing that he said said you can literally go months without speaking to each other. That is true. Like some of my best friends I haven't spoken to for like two months and then we just meet up and act like we haven't like not spoken in months. Honestly, all these TikToks so far are so relatable. <laughs> Okay, so if you say you don't do this, you're lying. I don't know why, but whenever I'd ask to fill my water bottle up, I would always go to the furthest one, like I said in this TikTok. It's also the same when it comes to toilets. Like, in my school, there used to be, like, loads of toilets, and I would always go to the one which was furthest away. I don't know, just going for a walk in the middle of class is so soothing. Like, honestly, if you don't do it already, you definitely should. Also, some people in my class would take literally half an hour to go to the toilet. Like, it was actually outrageous, and then they get in trouble. <laughs> This happened to me earlier. For some reason, I always sing to myself and I think I sound so good. So I was like, look, I got a microphone right here. I might try my best to sing into the microphone and see how it sounds. So I recorded me singing and I was like, that's going to sound so good. Whenever I played it back, I sounded awful. I don't know why, but whenever you sing to yourself, like you sound amazing. But then when you actually listen to it, it sounds awful. I feel like everyone's like that. Like everyone's voices sound so different to each other. Like your voice sounds so different in your head. But honestly, I used to think being a singer was super easy but it's actually so hard wow well done well done this happens to me basically every day for some reason my sleeping schedule is really weird i will either get up at 5 a.m or get up at 5 p.m like there's never an in-between time it's so weird i'll only ever get up super early or super late i never get up at a normal time this happened yesterday because i got up at 2 p.m yesterday i'm pretty sure my mom was like oh you're finally up nice to see you and then today i got up at 5 a.m i've got absolutely no idea how i'm yawning thinking about sleep 
sleeping. But like I literally woke up so early and I've been up since 5 a.m. I think the time right now is around about 9 a.m. But honestly, if a video could describe my mom, it would definitely be that video. How to not get rejected by your crush. Wait for the 1st of April to come around. Then go up to your crush and ask them if they'd like to go out with you. If they say no, respond with April Fools. By saying this phrase, you're placed in a dominant position. You may now walk away and cry alone. I mean, I feel like everyone's done this at one point. See, this is actually really smart and I feel like everyone does it. I've done it myself as well. Like, if you really like someone and want to ask them out, just do it on April Fool's Day and then if they say no, just be like, haha, April Fool's joke. Everyone has definitely done this one. <laughs> wow. Like I said earlier, that happened to me yesterday. Like I literally got up at 2 p.m. and my mom was like, oh my God, you're finally awake. Like you're not dead. Parents used to be kids. Like did they not wake up really late or like were they always up super early? I don't know why I wake up late. Like I just do it. Different types of laughs, part one. You had the kawaii laugh. <laughs> you have the empty Windex bottle. You have the silencer. You have the screecher. <laughs> That's me. You have the dramatic laugh. <laughs> you have the goofy laugh. <laughs> My laugh is so weird for some reason. Like, I don't know how to describe. I kind of sound like a witch when I laugh. I don't really laugh that much in my YouTube videos or like when I do laugh my videos, it isn't really how I actually sound laughing. I don't know why. I just like never properly laugh in front of the camera. But honestly, my laugh is so weird. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so many types of laughs just molded into one laugh. Like, it's honestly so weird. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. If you like to me make a part two, I definitely will. And I will see you all in my next next video.